how did you get popular on social media? Okay, so it started probably like when I was like in seventh grade. Well, no, sixth grade. Sixth grade, I used to do comedy. I used to do the um, the stereotypical jokes, and I used to do the like the um, some you know like relatable jokes, like when your mom calling you to get her something, and it's right there next to her, and she tell you to pass it to her, stuff like that. And I got big off comedy. Um, that's when I got big off comedy. I, I gained like forty five thousand off comedy in like, I want to say like a year, right? So then that's when um, it was real. So that's when Instagram wasn't really popping. Like everybody was just not finding finding out about it. So then that's when it was this um classic like dance called the Yeet or whatever. So I could always dance. I just never recorded it because it was just like, I'm not finna record me dancing. That sounds silly. So as soon as I record, I'm like, you know, I'm just playing around. Just mm, do a little yeet video since everybody doing it. And as soon as I posted it, it made it to world star. Uh, face to face, it just went crazy, crazy viral. So then I gained like, I, I had 45,000. And as soon as I dropped the video, I probably got up to like 80,000 in like three months. So then that's when, um, what happened then? That's when I just kept on doing my dancing videos, kept on doing my dancing videos. And then um, my, my page actually got deleted. I forgot what for. So then meaning I had to start all over like a year later. So I had to start all over. And I was like, you know what? I already know the trick. Dance. So I can I go viral again. So I went viral again and I gained like 600,000 in like six months. So it was kind of cool. Just off dancing. Yeah, just off dancing. So something that sounded silly at first yeah. ended up being <laughs> right. See, that's why you got to take what you're like, known for. Right. Now, when you said you started off with forty-five thousand, you're talking about on Instagram. Mm -hmm. On Instagram. So did you get popular through Vine and stuff first, or strictly Instagram? Strictly Instagram. Because Vine was yeah, a Vine was popping too. Did a lot of dancers. And really. look, so Vine, you know, they got six seconds. So then that's when um, Instagram came out. I was I was real smart with my thinking. So um, that's when um, Instagram had came out with video for 15 seconds. So I was like, instead of being funny for six seconds, I'm finna take it to, take it to Instagram since it's a longer video and I just blew up. Now, so, when it comes to Instagram, do you have a strategy with it? Uh, Like what you mean strategy? Like, is there, okay, I have to post this amount of videos a day or yeah. a certain times a day it is. or a certain amount of dance videos a month. <laughs> or. So um, I'm basically thinking, okay, before I post something, I'm thinking, okay, when is everybody or what, when is everybody active? When will everybody see this particular video so it can have like the potential to go viral again? So what I do is I'll probably make like at least two dance video and like two dance video that one week, right? So I wait like a whole little good little week, and then that's when everybody start coming on my phone. like, where's China? Like, when's she gonna post somewhere? So as soon as I drop another video, it's gonna go crazy because everybody was waiting for another one. So yeah, that's my strategy. Now, do you ever run out of dances? I do run out of dances, and when I run out of dances, because I didn't like, I, my mom, she didn't have the funds to like, for me to like, go to dance, like dance class or anything, like 401 and stuff like that. So what I did was, this is my love of dancing now. So what I did was, okay, so since she ain't gonna take me to no dance 401, I'm gonna go on YouTube and go to like dance tutorials. And I look at that all day. And then when I look at the, the you know, the dance tutorials on YouTube, then I take it to Instagram. Like everybody like, cause about Instagram, like when you do like a dance video and that dance video go viral, everybody gonna try to do that same dance video. Everybody gonna try to do the same moves. It is just gonna be like for a good little two months, right? So what I do is I find like real professional dance, like, you know, just a little easy, little quick little dance move. So, you know what I'm saying? Put it in one of my dance videos and I take the dance move from YouTube and I bring it to Instagram. And then that's what that's, that then that started another trend. Everybody going to be trying to do that now. So, yeah. What's been your most popular dance video? Uh, my most popular dance video was the handstand split video where I was like moonwalking and it was, and it was to my um, my boy T-Speed single or whatever. So I was the first to like get on it because I mind you like Instagram is so like if so if if one like video go viral like people gonna keep on stretching the same video until something new come out. So nobody was you know what I'm saying stunning his song. So I'm like okay it's the song go hard. I'm, I'm finna make you know what I'm saying now I'm finna bring it out. So 
I danced to it, and then it went crazy. They was like, yo, where did she find this song at? Or, oh, I never heard this song until now. So now it's like I'm getting him, like I'm getting, you know, the artist views too. So I, I danced to it, I danced to it, and then it got like 365,000 views in like two days. So it went crazy viral. And it was every world star. It hit world star again. It hit Facebook. So, yeah. Are you addicted to these dancing videos? I am. Is this like a drug? I ain't going to say it's a <laughs> drug. I can stop. But I always say, like, I always tell my followers, y'all, I'm going I'm to go back to comedy because that's where I came up off of. And I always go back to dancing like two days later. It just, <laughs> it just don't work out. <laughs> do you ever get sick of dancing? I do get sick of dancing. I do. And then that's why I switch it over to comedy. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's always something new. Always something new. Now, how crazy are your direct messages? Your DMs? Aw, it's crazy. What's in I, there? <laughs> Give us a sneak peek. <laughs> What's in my DMs? Do you check them? I do check my DMs because, like, when I'm on the way to a show or to get ready to perform or an interview, I'll probably, like, read my long paragraphs that my fans send. And, you know what I'm saying? They put me in a better mood. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But then it's the crazy grown people that don't know I'm 15. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's just crazy. Yeah, I seen an interview mm -hmm. with Silento, mm -hmm. who's around your age. Mm -hmm. and he said he would see 40, 50 year old soccer moms and oh, stuff God. trying to hide. Swear. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, I, won't, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised. What have you seen? Like, okay, like we're talking older guys. I mean, what have you seen? Honestly, all right. This was about a month ago. So it was this nice old man. He looked about 64. <laughs> right? So he, I don't know if he lied or was he for real. But you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to, you know what I'm saying? Respect your elders. I ain't want to. Okay, let me text the old man. Maybe he needs some company. So I texted him. He was like, man, my grandkids love you. Uh, you can dance, man. You go crazy. Like, I love your dance videos. My, me and my kids watch you all the time. My grandkids watch you all the time. And I was like, oh, man, that's dope, man. Keep showing me love. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I wanted you to know. <laughs> you was looking for a sugar daddy. <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, I showed my mom. I was like, Mom, what should I respond to this? She was like, don't respond at all. Mm -mm, them perverts. I was like, oh, my God, bro. And then the crazy thing about it, that same week, I was looking at this, um, it was on Lifetime. I was looking at this movie, it was called Sugar Daddies. And it was just like crazy because they asked me, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, yo, I just seen this on a movie, that, you know, last week. So it was just crazy. Do you think these like, type of people know your age or do you think they don't care? I mean, obviously if they send you a DM, yeah. do you I think have the they, possibility of screenshotting Okay, now it? if you're 64, come on now. It don't matter if I was 20, like, be for real. <laughs> So, but I mean, I think they know or have a clue. Well, some I know like the 18 year olds, 19, 20 year olds, 22 year olds, they probably really don't know because like, I, you know, it's, the, you know, just people have the same style in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? So it's just okay, everybody wearing, every woman wearing the same thing. So she gotta be the same age, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I mean, some of them know, but when I tell them, some people do be like surprised because I really don't look my age. like. I'm 15, but people be thinking I go for like 18. I'm like, no. Still on the borderline. Yeah, right? on the borderline. <laughs> <laughs> well, in America. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, I've heard in other countries outside of the U.S., like overseas, like mm -hmm. in Europe and stuff, some countries are like 16 mm -hmm. is of legal consent age, but obviously in America it's 18. Uh, right. Now, what about as far as like disrespect? How do you deal with negative or hateful comments um uh, when i started like really but like when i started like fresh becoming ig famous like you know what i'm saying like my numbers started going up going up i was like what 14 so when i was 14 i was sensitive i was like in eighth grade like i was still in middle school so little stuff did hurt my feelings so it'll probably be like a hateful comment i'll probably cry myself to sleep at night you know what I'm saying? Because it really, even when people like, well, okay, well, she ugly. It's like, oh, bro, I really be hurt. Like, I be like, what? But as I grew up, you know what I'm saying? I grew up and I just started like, 
it just stopped bothering me anymore. Like, it was just like, okay, well, people going to do this anyway. And then that's when I started looking on, you know, other, you know, famous, like, celebrities' pages, and they get the same thing. So I'm like, okay, well, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I feel like I'm a celebrity because they, so I don't even bother deleting the comments no more. I don't bother blocking people because if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. You know what I'm saying? So as the years went on, like, I kind of, like, just stop reading them. Like if I if I if I'll probably read the first sentence and if it's bad, I just like, alright, I ain't reading it no more. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's just like I don't want to, you know, piss myself off. So I just, you know what I'm saying? I just ignore it. Really, that's really all you gotta do. And it, it's hard, but you 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 gotta get the hang of it. Like it, it takes practice. So yeah. What about clapping back? Do you clap back? If I clap back, it'll probably be something like positive, <laughs> like. They would probably be extremely mad, and I'd probably be like... Okay, someone says you're ugly. Okay. W- w- what's the response? What's the clap I feel like I'd probably be like, well, everybody is ugly as somebody. And I'll leave <laughs> it at that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I don't really be like... I don't bother, like, going back. Like, because it's just like... And then it's crazy how, like, people... They peep, like, the bad comments. They let the bad comments affect them. Because I be having thousands and thousands of love comments. You know what I'm saying? Fans, like, big, huge fans. Then it'd be the, you know, the negative comment. It's just like, okay, all this bad, and all this little, like, all this all this good and this little bad. So it's just like the good overcomes the bad. So that's why I always, I'm always checking my DM for, you know, fan, fan mail, like always, you know. So, yeah. Now, Justin Bieber is currently dating someone mm-hmm. under 18. Oh, yeah, I was wondering why he was they was bashing him on his page. Yes, he was dating someone under 18. I believe she's 17. Okay. And a lot of people were bashing the pictures he was posting of the couple and so on and so forth. And he warned his fans, mm-hmm. hey, y'all need to chill. I was, you, I followed him. I and, seen it. And, and then it got to the point where he just deleted his page. Yep. Yeah. I was right there. It was crazy because um, I was actually, I was backstage for a show. And then um, I was just going through my, uh, you know, going through my timeline. And I seen Justin Bieber. So he had, like, this picture of the, him and this girl in, like, black and white. And it was, like, a long paragraph telling his fans to, like, well, I don't think you guys should bash people that I love. And you guys should be nice. You know what I'm saying? So I read it. But I was, like, he probably just talking you know what i'm saying he probably just gonna get over it he probably got a show right now he don't even care so then that's when after i performed or whatever i started scrolling through my instagram again and then that's when um he posted another one like you know what i'm saying long paragraphs explaining to his fans how they shouldn't be bashing him like this or people that he you know love and stuff and he deleted his Instagram. He, he in the comments he was like um what he say he was like if you guys don't stop i'm gonna delete my instagram i'm like he probably just saying that and then he really deleted it. I was like, Justin Bieber, come on. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, man, like all this hate and he like that affect like one thing. Have you ever thought about that? Getting so much hate, you just wanted to delete your profile? I actually have. I actually, plenty of times, plenty of times. Cause it's just like, I, like sometimes I think, okay, well I don't gotta deal with this, right? But it's just like, then again, it's like, okay, you got all these people, who, like all of these kids that you're inspiring, all these kids that look up to you, all these kids that look forward to going on your page just to make them smile. And you over here worrying about yourself and deleting your whole page. So it's just like, I, I, I put their feelings in consideration first. Because it's just like, you inspire all these people. That's not fair for you to give up on them now kind of type stuff. So it's just like, and if you delete your Instagram and show that the hate bothers you, what you teaching them? You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, I probably I try to prevent from all of that. Getting, I don't even let it get that like to me anyway for me to like go to that point. Now I don't know if this function is available for everybody, but I know certain celebrities, um, like Justin Bieber, have the uh, function mm-hmm. with their profile to disable comments. I've seen that. I actually I actually wanted to do that one time. But I couldn't. I think it's only for like celebrities, celebrities. I th- I don't know if it's in testing mode or if it just belongs to a certain type of caliber of celebrity. But yeah, is you talking about the one when you don't when it's no comments on a page? Yeah, when I mean, they post something. Yes, you can't I know, leave a comment. Yeah, so it's called like you. It's like a mode where you go to your settings and then you say uh, prevent comments from people, everyone, people you follow or public stuff like that. So you clicked that. I clicked it, but it ain't work for me. So I was just like, whatever. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. 
Are you on Snapchat? No. I actually deleted my Snapchat over the summer. I don't know why. It was just taking too much space on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> so I just deleted it. You, the most popular person on Instagram, d- decided not to have a Snapchat? Yeah, I mean, actually, my followers were mad at me. They was like, man, your Snaps made my day, but it was just like... How was crazy like, was your Snapchat? How I, I got like 45,000 views in like 35 minutes. Like, it was crazy. And you just got rid of it? It wasn't like that. It's just that when I deleted it, I forgot to download it again. I kind of just flew over my head. So it was just, I'm not going to go back to it. Now it's too late. Like, I've been gone too long. You so. think it's too late? I probably, it's probably not too late. It's probably not too late. If I log in, I'll probably still get the same, you know. But it was just like, I don't know. They got Snapogram now. So it's just like, I'm straight, you know, so. So the Instagram feature where they allow Instagram stories and stuff like that, you like that? Yeah, that's real cool. And, and it's cool because, like, I have way more followers on my Instagram than I have on my Snapchat. So it's just, like, this many people. Like, now, like, the people that follow me on my, you know, big social media are going to see everything I post. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, like, best of both worlds, kind of. I've seen it get a lot of flack. I've seen people try it. Yeah. And people still say, hey, I can't deal with the Instagram stories. I'd rather go to Snapchat. They yeah. The geo filters and stuff like that that yeah. people enjoy. And- I agree. The geo filters are kind of cool. But, like, I don't know. I'm just not really a big Snapchatter. Like, my friends always be like, oh, let me get on your Snap. I don't have a Snapchat. I deleted it. <laughs> and they just be like, you don't have a Snapchat? Bam. Yeah. Now, what is your opinion about the future of social media platforms? Do you think with Instagram stories in in that future in Instagram, do you think that will take away the popularity from Snapchat that they're currently gaining? Because they've been gaining a lot of momentum, and it's like now this is just coming like to play. I don't think like you can't be better than like. You can't be better than, like, the best. Like, you can't be better than an actual creator. So it's like Instagram attempted, but it's just, like, Snapchat will always be better because they was the originality, you know, the originals, you know? So it's just, like, some people will agree with the snap Snapogram, but some people will always, like, at the end of the day, go back to Snapchat because that's the originals, you know? But what about Vine and Instagram? Because at first, Instagram was just picture strictly. Yeah. And Vine was video, and and Vine was really hot because they couldn't do video. And then once Instagram started making videos, started doing the videos with the pictures, do you think that Instagram killed Vine? Or did Vine itself kill Vine? Instagram did that. Like, Instagram killed that. So, and I just, like, they stole it. They stole a lot of social media, like, features. But it's just like, I mean, you can't even be mad. You know what I'm saying? It's just like they want their social media to be the best too. So it's just like they got to set the game up, you know? <laughs> now, when it comes to social media, period, what's your biggest pet peeve with it at this point? Social media? Yeah. What, what bothers you the most about it? Well, Instagram really is like, or social media, period, is like instant gratification. So it's like some people may like, the wrong people may gain a lot of followers because it's insta you know, it's instant gratification. Anybody can be famous. So well on Instagram, like in particular. So it's just like as soon as they get it, they use it for all of the wrong reasons to like, you know, expose people, gossip about people and I don't think that's cool at all. Like that's so uncool on so many levels. And I just feel like if God bless you with a following, you should use them for good. Like you should teach them, you know, positive stuff like the way to go not you know what i'm saying because it's a blessing because everybody don't have a lot of followers so it's really like a blessing like that you even got that opportunity to have like so many people are like you know love you that much they want they care about what you're doing you know on a daily basis so i just think they should use it for good not bad stuff now how many times have you been deleted on instagram or disabled actually out of my whole two, three years of being um, social media famous, I never had an issue with getting deleted uh, or getting hacked. Like, my management, like, they they make sure all my stuff good. I don't give everybody my password. You know what I'm saying? So I never really had that problem. And so, just what, I want to say two weeks ago, uh, my uh, I had over half a million followers. I was finna hit a million. And um, it was these hackers. They, like, famous hackers. Like, you don't mess with them. So what they did was, they didn't even know me. It was just like, you know, they didn't even know me. So they was just like, well, they just woke up one day and was like, well, we want to get Chad the Greatest deleted. 
So what they did was they had software. They spam my page, reported me all at once, and my stuff just kicked me out. So I'm, I've been disabled for a good three weeks. And there's no way to get that back, the original um, profile? I heard it is a way. I mean, it is a way. Uh, like, people have been sending me, like, different kind of links. So, you know what I'm saying? Contact Instagram. But Instagram, you know how much Instagram, like, notifications and stuff Instagram get in, like, a second? So, it's just, like, I don't know. You just can't give up. Like, you got to keep on filling out the forms. But, I mean. You've done that? Yeah. Plenty of times. I've been doing it 24-7. And you still can't get any response? I, I got like? responses. Like, Instagram may say, well, to, uh, write this down. To write this up. Uh, you know, code down to get your page back, and it's just, I don't know, it just, it's impatient, like, it's just, like, like, it's just annoying, because it's just, like, you got to go through so much security just to get a page back, and I want to, but it's just, like, everything happened for a reason, you know what I'm saying, so it's just, like, I mean, if I came up, Insta came up off Instagram by myself, I can do it again, you know what I'm saying, because it's, like, Instagram didn't make me, I made Instagram, I put my talent into Instagram, so I can get it all over again because of my talent. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really stress over it anymore. Like after the first week, I was just like, bro, forget it. Start but how over. did people find you with your new profile then? Actually, I used to promote that page. It was a backup account just in case that did happen. So I, I got like, so I was gaining like a whole bunch of, but it would never come back to 709,000 because that's just, just not going to happen. So I promoted my um, backup page like, like almost every day on my old account. So a lot of my followers like really followed that account and I got like what, 170K, 170,000 in a week, well, in two weeks. So, I mean, it's straight. But in the meantime, you're still working on getting the original account back? Yeah, in the meantime, I am really, I'm really working on it, but it's just like, bro, it's so, it's like annoying. Like you gotta go through so much stuff, but yeah, I'm trying to get it back for real, for real. Now, how do you know it was those famous hackers that you're talking about? Because, uh, like I said, they were hackers. How, somehow, they had got my number, and then they told me, and they was telling me, like, all the steps that they went through, but it was, like, from a block call, call, so I can't even track it or nothing. So they, was they actually told me, like, the night before it actually happened. So then that same morning, I had a show, and my friend, HYTB, he got half a million followers, too. Like, we was just, like, entertainers. So he got disabled too, like from about the same people. So he told me who who did it, and then they threatened me, like they still threatened me to do it, but I didn't believe it. I was just like, okay, whatever, y'all got him deleted, but that don't mean y'all can get me deleted. And it happened, so. So people called you from a blocked number? Yeah. And they have a conversation with you. Yeah. You pick up the phone and say, who's this? Mm -hmm. And they just say, hey, we're hacking your stuff and there's nothing you can do about it? Or <laughs> Basically. Are they demanding money or what are they getting out of this? Uh, what did they say that was like, uh, um, they actually, yeah, that's what they said. They was like, they was actually asking for a follow back or something. So I was just like, what's your Instagram? You know what I'm saying? Like, I was trying to fight for it. And then they was like, oh, you taking too long to follow back. Because I was at a show. I, I couldn't, I, I can't just be, you know what I'm saying? I don't have free time like that. So I was at a show and they was like, well, you follow back yet? So I'm going to um, delete your account. And it happened. Like, it was like crazy. And I was just like, dude. But yeah. All they wanted was a follow back? Yeah. They did. <laughs> and like, shout outs. Oh, yeah. And it was like, oh, give me a shout out. Give me a shout out. But I can't do that. Like, my manager is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything I post has to be professional. I just can't give a shout out because a hacker won it. I'm not finna support violence. No way, because it's just like, I'm not finna support what you're doing. Cause it's oh, wrong. they wanted a violent shout out? Yeah, like, they wanted, like, because their page was, like, an exposed page or something. Like, they was exposing girls and stuff. And they wanted me to promote it on my page. And I was like, dude, I don't support that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah. So they was like, all right, bet. And they just did what they did. And you thought they were bluffing? I did think they was bluffing, but at the time, I was just like, okay. I was just like, well, if they can do it, then I don't know. I, I cared, but it was just like, bro. Like, it's like I couldn't do nothing about it, so I couldn't even really say nothing. I was just like, okay. <laughs> I can just take my L, you know? Now, what about your other popular buddy that you just named that got his hacked as well. Did he ever get his original profile back or did nope. he have to start over too? It's plenty of like ATL dancers and entertainers got hacked that same night. 
And it was just like, dude, Instagram, what's up with you? But they got it back because I'm not trying to brag or anything, but like I had like more followers than like any female teen in Atlanta. So they had like 100K, I was at 709,000 K. So it was just like, my pay, my account was bigger than theirs, so it's gonna take longer. That's that's what I read up on too. So it's gonna take longer. They gotta go through your profile, and I had a lot of followers, so it's like they they gotta, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna take longer. So they got their page back, like all the other entertainers, but me and HYTV, we didn't get our page back yet. Now, what are on those pages? Did the hackers do anything to your page that got disabled or deleted, or? Um, like you asked me, like, how did they delete me? No, no. Did they like take over your like? Once oh they no, hacked? it's not hacked. They got it disabled. Meaning, I'm thinking they like reported me, or a few times, and like Instagram like got it and then like just deleted our account. So yeah. Now, what about fake pages and fake profiles? Have you seen that about you? Yeah. Fake profiles or like um, like fan pages that like priorities that pretend to be me to gain followers, but I mean people know it's not me. Like eventually, but what about stalkers? Have you ever um, had issues with stalkers? I've been seeing that in the media with some I popular have. people. Well, like. not a stalker. Not like oh, I'm outside of your house. Like. Like, I don't know, like, I just feel a vibe, like, if I answer a DM, I just feel, the, like, I feel a vibe, like, that they give off when they try to, like, when they talk to me or, you know what I'm saying, trying to tell me something. And then eventually, if I know they look like a stalker or something, I'll probably be like, all right, I'll reply back that one time. But after that, I don't check it. And it has been, like, times where, like, you know how, like, you see a message pop up on your phone, but you don't have to click it yet because you can read it, like, in the little box? It, they'll probably say something stupid, and I probably won't open it after that. I probably well, I ain't even over oh, I ain't even get into it, but nah, I never had a stalker. Not yet. Not yet. Now you have your booking information on your Instagram, right? Mm-hmm. What's been your strangest booking request so far, if any? My strangest booking request, like strange, like as in bad, like strange. Just like wow, I can't believe they asked me to do this for yeah. a, um, a little bit of change. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, the craziest one, I mean, I ain't gonna say there's nothing wrong with it, but, like, the craziest, like, booking I got was, uh, it was some kid, my manager had, like, you know what I'm saying, seen the booking, it was some kid, uh, saying that he had, like, a sickness, like, a sickness disease, and, like, he only got, like, 10 years or something to, like, live or something like that, so he was saying, um, like, he wanted me to come, I think it was, like, Kentucky or something to like come see him and hang out with him for a day and it was just like uh, like I was scared I wasn't scared I was just like bro is this real because I didn't know like I like I meant that much to somebody I was like is this real so my manager had contacted them but they didn't really get back with it so now what's the biggest misconception of you what you mean <laughs> like what's one thing people may say or think about you but it just isn't really the case. A lot of people say that I come off as cocky because when I walk into an event, like, I know, like, I am I have confidence, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna rock the house. You know, I come in, you know, I'm just ready to perform, you know, got my head in the game, not worrying about nothing. So let's say they'll probably try to, like, joke around with me, but I probably won't laugh back or something. So they'll probably be like, bro, she cocky. Like, the first, the first impressions, like, you know, those first impressions. So, but... As soon as they get, like, to talk to me, like, hey, you know, have, like, ask conversation, I'm actually pretty cool. But, yeah, a lot of people say I come off as cocky. Uh, and a lot of people say that, um, yeah, that's really what I do, that I come off as cocky. Do you care what people think about you? Not really. Not really. Not at all, really. Like, I I see it and I hear it, but, if it, but it's just, like, I mean, if it's not affecting nothing I got going on, I don't. I don't feel like I have to change it. You know what I'm saying? So, 